Okay, uh, today was leg day with a kind of a leg based finisher. Um, I was doing positive training, so everyone's heard of negative training where you go slow on the on the downward movement. Um, what I was doing here was four second positives on the way up. So two seconds on the way down, one second pause at the bottom, four seconds on the way up, and then a second pause at the top. Um, it's as hard as the negatives. <laughs> like it sucked, and I superseded it with uh, isometric dumbbell lunges. So it was ten four second positives on the half hack and then 10 reps each side on dumbbell lunges um, for four sets total. So not too much on legs, jump straight into my finisher then, which is a workout by itself. Um, so barbell thrusters, 20 reps on that. Um, three moves, or it was actually four moves, but I count three moves with 20 reps. Um, so 20 reps on barbell thrusters, then 20 reps on kettlebell swings where you're putting a focus on the glutes. So if you're an athlete trying to build up your glutes and speed, um, swinging your kettlebell through your glutes is going to give you fire better. And the same with a girl trying to bring up her glutes. Um, and then these pop-ups um, where they're kind of a variation of a burpee. Um, again, a lot of glute firing on this because I pre-exhausted it with the kettlebell before. 20 reps on this as well. Um, and then just prowler pushes. Trying to press to my glutes on each one. So if you're an athlete uh, playing a sport, this is an amazing workout for you, or if you're a girl that's trying to bring up her glutes and make her glutes thicker, you know, try this out at the end of the next workout, five rounds, and see how you go. Hey guys, okay, end of the day. Um, again, short vlogs, I'm trying to keep them just training and a little bit of extra um, at the end. But if you have any ideas for what else you want me to put them in the vlogs, just let me know. Um, I'm getting a load of questions on Snapchat, Brian K019, so I've opened it up for live Q&As, you know, for about an hour every day. Um, I try and do it Monday to Saturday. Obviously, Sunday is my time, my little girl, so I try not to do anything on a Sunday. Um, so if you message me on a Sunday, it's, it's going to be automated with the reply, or else it'll be me again on Monday. Um, but basically, a lot of questions on supplementation, what ones to use, um, and how to use them. So main tips really for fat loss, fat loss supplements. Um, I'm going to explain just so anyone that's on my Snapchat, and I'll just give you a bit of background to it. Um, my main fat burning supplements that I use and the ones that I recommend and the ones that I love um, are L-carnitine tartrate and green tea extract. Um, L-carnitine tartrate pushes fat cells into the mitochondria so you can burn it as a fuel source. So what it does is it takes it takes your fat, uh, release, when it's released from the cell, moves it to the front of the queue and then you can burn through it as an energy source. What green tea extract does then is there's a compound in, in, in green tea extract called ECGC. Um, it's a metabolism boosting compound. It's why the, the actual tea isn't um, as potent as a fat burner because it's not concentrated enough with this compound. So if you were looking for any green tea extract, look at the ingredient list on the back and it'll have ECGC and it should be at 45% or higher. Then it's going to have a really positive effect on your on your, um, on your metabolism because it's going to elevate it. You think your metabolism like a fire? Uh, green tea extract allows the fire to burn brighter and L-carnitine pushes fat into the fire to be burnt so using them simultaneously works really well because um, I regularly get asked about fat burners and I, I hate them I fucking hate them um, I've used them in contest preps because uh, they do help massively with appetite and things like that when you're in a, in a calorie deficit and your calories are low they'll give you a little bit of brain function um, I don't use them at all now. Now I use things like XCT oil, MCT oil, uh, coconut oil, things that have medium chain triglycerides and I, and I get my brain function from that when I diet down um, because I don't like the way that fat burners make me feel. They're really heavy on the sympathetic nervous system so, they, so you're like constantly in a fight or flight response um, which can affect your sleep, it can affect your mood, can elevate cortisol, it can make you stressed, it can make you edgy. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Um, so I don't use them personally. Um, if I ever do a contest prep again, I'll be using doing it without a fat burner. I'll literally be doing it without any sort of chemicals or any shit like that going into my body. Um, so that would be my tip on fat burning. Get your green tea extract, get your L-carnitine tartrate, about 1,000 milligrams of green tea extract, 500 if you're a small girl, you know, under 60 kilos, um, and about you know 1,500 for a girl, 60 kilos, and anyone above around 2,000 to 2,500 milligrams um, is perfect, and I take it before I train. You know, um, some arguments that L-carnitine should be taken with an insulin transporter. I have found it as applied, it's a lot better without. Um, so I just take it with green tea extract and, and L-carnitine before I train. Um, and that gives me an extra little potent fat burner um, that I add into my pre-workout routine. Um, so I hope this video helps. Um, any any more things that you want to see in the vlog, guys, just let me know. You know, I'm putting out a lot of content at the minute. You know, the blog posts are going up nearly every day. My 14 days of fat loss is on my Facebook. It's in my newsletter. Um, I have Snapchat Q&As every day. 
uh, Instagram, I'm putting a post there every day, and I'm hopefully starting a podcast next week, so hopefully the first episode will be up on that. Um, so if you've got any recommendations for these vlogs, guys, just let me know what you want to see, and I'll put it up there. You know, as I said, thanks for watching them, because if people weren't watching them, I wouldn't be doing them. Um, so thanks again, like and subscribe, and I'll come at you tomorrow with another video.